Welcome, welcome to another episode of Market Flow here on Thursday mornings in the Cyber Frogs DGen Den. You know how it's going down. And what's also going down is this countdown timer. We've got, uh, uh, you, you see it, we're counting down to April 4th. We're going to be in NFT NYC. And uh, Andy, our, our fearless, beloved founder, has got some big announcements that we are going to be making at uh, a Cyber Frogs event. We've got some big partners that this event is going down with. Be sure to check it out. Um, we will be there with, with Magic Eden for the Yacht Club party, but then we're throwing our own fucking thing with, with some other killer communities the following day on the 4th. So the big news around what is going down with cyber frogs and all the hype and what what is this under construction and stay tuned trust me bro those are andy's words trust me bro we'll find out what happens um let's get into it let's get into the charts it's been juicy we, we we've been doing well let's get right to business um actually we're going to start with bitcoin right we're going to get right into bitcoin when we left off um one of our previous streams i can't remember if it was last thursday or if it was this tuesday right we had we had this door zone right we had this door short and we actually have several if i go to uh if i go to thor if i simply just log into the thor manual trading i got my phantom wallet signed in I got my request access token. I already got it. You just got to do it once. You're going to log in. Then we're going to go to drop down menu here. We're going to look up Bitcoin. BTC USD. We're going to then go to our time frames and we're going to look up the four hour. Right. Okay. So these are the calls that we were looking at when we left off stream before we had this big big thor if we start to uh, uh i'm sorry big big thor call up there if bitcoin starts to pump up here at a new all-time high of eighty-two thousand, but we had this thor short right here that that i had posted and since then thor's actually posted if you you look and we zoom in there are multiple shorts all stacked up right in this zone and they all have pretty similar take profit points, right? If you look at them, pretty similar entrance, pretty similar take profit points. So what, um, what we're looking at here is, is I said on stream Tuesday, we entered our short call, but don't get shaken out. Don't get fearful if we do a little dancing in this range because we have those other calls that we could potentially fill and then look to drop down and test our trend here, right? Test our trend and potentially the long-term EMA. That being said, um, we, we've already... You know, we had our zone established to buy at 62,000, just a DCA, not go wild because we could break down to this 56. And if we lost that zone, break down to the 52. Um, but what we've got now, what we're looking at is we, we see the RSI. We've actually broken back up above the RSI. We're, we're looking to hold that higher low and, and keep the momentum moving. And if we pull out our path tool here and we look at what, what Bitcoin has done, you know, we saw it enter that zone of 62 where we thought we got to pump up to resistance on the EMA, establishing our resistance there. We came down, tested support of the long term EMA, making the higher low on our zone. And then we got our break, right? We got our break. What do we say? The break in the retest. We got the break and we came down and retested on this top just about perfect, right? And right on our EMA. And at this point, we could be looking for, you know, we got the lower high, or the higher low, higher high, higher low. We could be looking for that higher high and potentially higher low, higher high into those new all time highs in this door short. So that is our bullish scenario right there right our bullish scenario is that 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 
Bitcoin says, fuck your Thor call, fuck your lines. We're, we're moving. We've got momentum. We've got support. We hit your, you, you missed your entry to DCA. And, and now we're gone. We're leaving the zone. We're not even going to retouch and fill this call. We're just going bullish and up to, to new all-time highs and get up here around 82,000. That's our bullish scenario. Now, our, our more bearish scenario is we continue to meet resistance here at these calls and we fail to uphold support on the long term, right? We, we've hit the 200-day EMA and bounced off of it strong. But if we lose that, you know, we've got a big gap in Bitcoin, a big zone we identified here where after we blew through, we really had no test of price action. So we have a zone here at 56,000. And if we lose that zone, we know we're looking to DCA in a little further down here at the, you know, more like 52, right? And if we lose that 52, we have this Thor long call at about 4950. And then ultimately down here, we know the zone of 46,000. That's long been a zone for Bitcoin at 46,000. It's a known zone. Now, Bitcoin, it is typical of Bitcoin pre having retrace in a bull run to go about 30 to 40 percent down. And this 46,000 would put us right at that 40 percent. Now, if this becomes an area of max pain, if everyone's just so bullish that we're doing nothing but going up from here, I definitely think we could visit this 52. Uh, 56 for sure, and 52 somewhere in this zone. Um, but Max Payne really could be pushing Bitcoin and these new ETFs and, and these these new uh, traditional investors that are getting into to crypto and they don't know the crazy fucking swings. Um, this may be a zone to push down. So it is just an area to keep in mind. Is it Probable? Maybe not. Is it possible? Absolutely. This is fucking crypto. It could happen from a tweet. Let's be realistic. Um, now, but that that's our bearish scenario, right? We, we continue to find this resistance. We break back down into downtrend and we visit these lower zones. Um, now, moving on to Solana. And keep a, one thing I want to note here before we move over to Solana. Um, note in Bitcoin how once we had our test here right when we had this this test zone and we printed our our w right and we formed our higher low we broke out and then found support right after we made the higher low we broke out with for now we have found support on it right so if we go to soul Solana, um, Solana, we have a long call still in play. Remember that Thor long we had here did fill. Congrats if you took that. And then uh, I, I called a short. It was on a, our other soul chart. Uh, but if you had taken that short entry and rode it right back down to this, Congratulations, that was a nice move. And then it moved right back up. So we've seen this has been a nice range, but that was a perfect short zone for, for a soul that we took on our own TA as a call. Um, anyway, moving back to Thor and, and what we're really seeing here. Uh, we do have some short calls, right? If we go back into Thor and we scroll up and we go to Solana and we bring up Solana, you see there's asterisks, that means there is calls. We're gonna bring up Sol and again, we're gonna stick to the four hour chart. Uh, when we look, you see we've got, what is Solana gonna do? We don't know. We don't know if we're gonna break up or if we're gonna break down. But what we do know is what to do if we break up, right? We know what to do if we break down. So let's go look at it on the charts. What we're going to do if we continue up is we're going to look for this uh, Thor short. Um, I don't know why I'm missing my zone there. Let's see what the take profit on this one is. So I have my entry point somewhere around 200. Entry 200. 
187 is my TP zone. So I'm going to just draw my TP zone on here real quick. So if you look, that kind of puts us right in that range of, of retesting our, our uptrend, right? So pretty good range. But we've got another big one for Seoul sitting up here at 240 and and the take profit point for this call if you look comes back and tests the last high so again if we get this the the bullish scenario you know we've got our higher low but you see, we didn't break out above the W and pump from it. We've come down a little bit, but we could continue to just slowly leg up, making higher lows and higher highs until we do break out from this resistance. Um, right now, and you look at the RSI even, the momentum's kind of coming down where Bitcoin, Big Daddy, has the momentum. Solana just doesn't right now so we could still see this short fill out and we could pump up uh to this 240. now what are we looking at in a, a bearish scenario if we don't continue this leg up and break out right if we break down from here you know we had this small zone established from seoul that we saw price just break without any back testing here and thor has actually posted a short to enter anywhere below that zone and then look for a retest so so again that that's really to me bullish on telling me that my own ta a zone that i lined up that i thought we may revisit thor later calls and says yes that is a zone if we do visit that zone look to go long and then take profit in the retest, right? Probably of what will be the short-term EMA. If we're going down, the short-term EMA will probably be there. So um, again, Thor is not saying if this, if we fill this zone, that's the bottom. What Thor is saying is if Solana breaks down and we do get the entry price of, of somewhere here about 150, Look for us to pump up and test this 170 before we either then continue to Valhalla or we break down and go and test these, these lower levels. Um, looking at these lower levels for Solana, we have a massive Thor call, massive Thor call down here, right? Uh, down here at about $90 with a, a near 50% profit if we hit that. So um, if we do break down, you know, we, we've got a big Thor call to be watching. We do have one here in the, the closer time zone. So we've got bullish and we've got bearish scenarios for Seoul. Let's just see, do we continue this leg up? Do we hold this support and leg up and break out? Or do we get the break and the retest of these and look to go down more in a bearish trend? Um, we'll find out. That's why we have our zones. That's why we have our lines. So uh, moving on, you know, we got to take a look at Kira. You know, we got to take a look at Kira. Kira, uh, with, with, with our wallet, we actually did just make a little buy just because uh, this is a new wallet we had started and we got to have some Kira. We know what Kira is going to do and we had no exposure to the market. So we got a good buy on this big retrace. And now that we're back down here uh, between the zones, we also did pick up a little bit more. But Kira has made some crazy, crazy moves, right? We saw uh, uh, essentially almost a, uh, a 15x from the bottom here. And then we, we saw a good retrace. Not surprised. We've seen people take profits and buy some awesome things, IRL. Um, but here we are at that 60% zone again, right? We talk about 60% down. So I, I'm bullish on Kira in this area. Um, not financial advice. Do your own research. Frauds fuck. 
Um, bonk. Bonk is starting to break out. Same thing. We bought a little bit here when we were down on this support zone. Just because it was a new wallet, we had no exposure on the market at all. We didn't go ham. We just bought a little bit. Now, when we broke down, before I zoom in, let me just take a retracement tool here real quick. You see we had this zone where we blew through and then we didn't really come back to retest, right? So, and that zone just happens to be at a level of 60%, right? We talk about that a lot, the 60% down for, for shit coins and meme coins. Um, if you take offense to me calling your token a shit coin or a meme coin, you should probably, um, you know, re, re, reassess your, your love for a token. Uh, it might come back to bite you at the end of this bull, just saying. Uh, anyway. That's about 60% down. So that's the zone we are looking to load up. And we did buy some more in our wallet. And Bonk has done a nice close to 40% from there. But looking on the longer term for Bonk, right? We have got our break and we've got a retest. This is looking healthy, at least to retest the, the last highs we got, right? I think this is going to be a zone of resistance or at least of test again. So that would be a great zone to take a little bit of profits. And that's what I'm going to look to do. Speaking of profits, let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at when. We're getting DGEN. We're getting DGEN, boys and girls. Um, so if we take a look at when token. Right. Same thing. We, we didn't have any exposure in the market when we started this wallet. So I bought just a little bit here on the break. I should have taken profits here because I knew it would be resistance. But I didn't because I still have. Uh, I know we're in somewhat of a large but an accumulation range in the market at this point. Right. I really do believe we're just going to break up. So. We had this zones established down here where we were bouncing and just kind of never really filling, but kept touching. Uh, so we are keeping an eye on them. Those zones up here from our pump, we're down to 60%, 60%. So we got down to our 60% zone. We found the higher low. We made a buy with our wallet, right? Um, and we, 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 we've made a pump. And it looks to be finding support. If we lose this support here, I'm going to go ahead and take some profit on our win. But remember, guys, we went into Jupiter and we made a limit order. We put a limit order to take profit on when for us. Um, so hopefully that fills. Um, but yeah, this is what we're, we're, we're looking at for the market. Um, I, I've been going DGEN been going degen and we've been doing awesome with it so i gotta bring it up not financial advice do your own research we're getting into the dark and the dirty you know when we're talking about cock um but you can't ignore it this is this looks like a fun coin mean coins are ripping and the fact that they are launching a, a bit of a narrative today and telling us what this kind of meme to earn is going to be we're, we're kind of excited about it. We had to get involved, right? So we bought here on support. And we actually took profits on our cock coin all the way up here in this pump. We did really well. And then we waited until we got back down to our initial entry point And we made a buy-in again. So we had made... Um, I want to say we had $10 worth of cock, sold it for $12 USDC. Therefore, we were holding 20% USDC from our position, and we were still holding 50% of, of our bag of cock. So we're still holding on our cock tight, and we already got our profits. You got to love it. Um, you know, uh, Chonky, uh, I believe... Don't quote me, but I believe Chonky may be one of the, the 
projects that uh, were, were partnering with having this event at NFT NYC. But Chalky, we talked about Chalky last week, so we're going to revisit it again real quick. You know, again, we, we grab our measurement tool, we come down. This one actually took a little bit bigger retrace, that 66, 67. But remember, we, we, we said shit coins, mean coins can often take that 60 to 80, right? So this still looks to be in the zone, especially if we hold this higher low. And it looks like we broke our downtrend with some volume. And look how perfect we hit the bottom of the zone there. And we said if we continue to lose these zones, this is the next area we're looking to load up, right? So keep an eye on that. But um, the auto contract has been performing amazing. If you don't know about the auto contract, anyone and everyone on Solana can use it. You don't need to even have a cyber frog to use the contract. Cyber frogs help you get manual calls as well as save on your taxes, right? You only get taxed on your profits. And right now, the average user PL is at 62%. And this is while Salon is in a bit of a dip from its all times, right? So average users are currently at 62%. We're still at 3.5 mil TVL locked. And the contract, you can see it buys, it sells, it buys the dips and it sells. It buys the dips and it sells. So um, the contract has been performing amazing. And um, like I said, you better be ready uh, for those of you that are going to be at NFT NYC. The, the, the frog event is one you're not going to want to admit. We've got some big announcements. And uh, trust me, bro, that's the words of Andy. And uh, Andy is determined to bring frogs. It's not just you know, a relative project. We went from a fucking D rug to a top project. That's not good enough. He wants to be in, in the, not even top 10, but top five. And he's coming with some fire news and uh, is going to do what he can, not only to pump frogs, but bring the fucking NFT bull run back to Solana, right? We know what it was like last time. And, and man, it's only just easier adoption and easier use on, on Soul. And uh, along with the Saga phone and everything else, just fucking bullish for Solana all around. Um, keep an eye on Thor. Uh, watch for these levels. You know, protect your bags. Always manage your risk. This is one thing I forgot to touch on. I'm going to go back on and touch right now because if you take nothing else from this stream, let it be this. We're going to log into Thor real quick again. Let's say you want to take that Solana call that we were just talking about, right? Let's say you want to take this Solana short call. Um, we're going to say, we're going to look at that Solana short call, and that's this entry point here of 200 to 199 to open your short and take profit at 187, right? So you know where to enter. You know where to take profit, but how do you manage your risk? What, what are the parameters you use for this call? This is where Thor is extremely fucking powerful. You come over here to RM, risk management. You highlight it. It says set up trade. When you click on it, we're going to set up our trade for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at take profit one. And this is where you put in the quote currency. We're, we're using USD. USD. What is the amount you are willing to risk on this trade? This is where your own risk parameters come in, guys. You got to manage your portfolio by only using a certain piece of your portfolio, a certain percentage per trade. And then of that trade, you're only willing to risk a certain percentage of that trade, right? That's, that's portfolio risk management and trade risk management. After you've established what your, your your portfolio risk management is, right? Let's say you've got, you know, your trade is you're, you're willing to use $50 in an individual trade. Well, your risk management, you're only willing to lose five, five dollars of that 50. All right, let's calculate. I usually just go here into the median zone of Thor. 
But now I know I'm going to sell 0.55 sold at 199 and I'm going to buy back that 0.55 sold at 187 to take profit, or I'm going to get stopped out at $208 for a loss, a stop loss of only five. That's how I manage my risk. Let, let, let's, let's take this example again, but let's go down and look at this Thor long call, right? Because this is a nice juicy. Maybe you don't like shorts. You just, you're just trying to find good entry points to buy sold, right? So we're going to look at this Thor long call with this entrance zone between 148 and 153, right? That's what we are looking at here, this zone. So if we want to take that call, we're going to do the same thing. All right, I want to take this door long. How do I set up my trade? We go to risk management. Risk management, you know what? I've got a little bit bigger trading bag to work with. I'm willing to lose up to $10 on this trade. I don't want to lose any more than $10, but I'm willing to lose up to $10 to see if Thor's right on this one and we get the juicy profit. I'm going to hit calculate. I'm going to look right here to the median zone. I'm going to buy 0.64 sold at $148.75. I'm going to set a sell at 0.64, or I'm sorry, I'm going to set a sell at $169, and I'm going to set a sell at $133. So now that I've bought 0.64 sold at $148, I have a sell at 169 and a sell at 133. So now I'm either going to hit profit and sell my 0.64 at 169, or I'm going to hit stop loss at 133, and I'm going to take a loss of $10 because I've managed my risk to make sure I lose no more than $10. If you learn nothing else from this stream, let it be to manage your risk and to do it properly. This is a bull run. Uh, things get volatile. Um, we, we don't necessarily advocate for leverage trading. Thor is a spot tool. Um, but it can be used in multiple ways. And, and using the tool to manage your risk, you can set up your own individual parameters for every trade. And this is probably the most powerful tool that I have found when it comes to, to trading it is just the, the Thor tool. It gives you not only entries and exits, but it tells you how to manage your risk, which you can be a profitable trader by proper risk management and finding yourself on the right side of probability. That's exactly what Thor does. Market flow helps you find the flow and navigate these waters and kill it here in crypto. I thank you for joining us on this Thursday morning. Um, Frogs fuck, Thor Prince, and we'll see you in New York. Let's go.